Here goes a uh, quick video on uh, the cup holders in these Witzers, second generation. This is a 2006 uh, Witz or Yaris. Uh, this car was stolen. I'll talk more about that in another video, but um, this is where the cup holder goes. Uh, the reason we took it out is uh, it was full of glass on uh, the smashed window there, the quarter glass. So um, these are conceptually quite simple, but um, if you're looking at the cup holder in the car, it can be quite uh, confusing what you're supposed to pull on without breaking anything. So I'll just show you with it removed uh, how it works. You see there's a hinge down at the uh, base here. Um, you see the little, the little tits on the dash side. Uh, they go into these, um, these holes. So that's the hinge. And at uh, the, the arms, which is, uh, um, controls how far, they can, how far the cup holder comes out, um, they have these tabs on the back which hook around the back of there. To, to pull it out, you basically have to squeeze these arms in until that tab is free to pull out. And it's quite difficult to do because uh, the slot here is not really wide enough. It tends to, um, when you squeeze it this way, it, the arm hits here without clearing. So I'll just um, show you. This is how to put it back on. There are little ramps on the inside of that, so it actually snaps in quite easily. And then we're just going to push that back until that tab will push through and now it's in. And see now it won't pull back out because the tab is hooked up down in there. Now, this is the, the glove box side of the car, left side, because it's a right-hand drive car. Um, you can put your hands through here and actually get your fingers and thumb on the arm. You see, I'm you see I'm moving it, which makes it a lot easier to pull it out. And just because we have access, I will show you what that looks like on the inside. So there are the two arms of the cup holder. And as I open and close it, you can see exactly what's happening. And to Get it out. What you need to do is squeeze that. I'm just pushing that through with my thumb and finger, and it's free. Now, to get these things off the hinges, you probably need a tool. Just a um, screwdriver, flat blade will work. Actually, best to go from the top. There we go. And the other one will just pull off. Ta -da. Coming across to the uh, driver's side one, which is a bit harder, you can still access it. Um, you can try doing it from the outside, but I think you'll have more luck if you do this. So this little box here, uh, just bear in mind that on American and uh, European cars, everything will just be mirrored and uh, Pay no attention to the um, stolen car evidence. So this uh, little thing just pulls out. You pull it, actually, this one from the bottom. Sort of pull it out and up. And then it just slides out those hooks those uh, that go through this slot here. Once you've got that out, um, you can again, in fact, see If I put my hand in there, you've got to be careful because of this uh, the wiring behind these switches. So just uh, feed your hand behind that or around the wires. And you can get your fingers on that tab. You see me tweaking it there. All right, I hope that was uh, helpful for somebody. Um, this one, again, you just um, 
see the little hooks there, and they just go on the corresponding bits of the dash after you've hooked it through here. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Have fun.